guys, so there's this new thing called PvP for Super Sentai Legend Wars. Obviously, I think it's PvP versus AI. And you're making teams, and we're going to show you more about it later. But so far, there are heroes, rares, and legendaries. There's the Dino Legendaries, which is like a must-have. And you have the heroes, Lupin, Pato Rangers. Very cool, very cool artwork. And I'm seeing health, attack, shields... And we'll go over those in a sec. And speed. I'm pretty sure speed's pretty good. But we gotta see what those are all about later. But first, let's pull, see what we get. If we pull legendary, that's just godly. But I doubt we'll pull a legendary, man. Yeah, we did not pull a legendary. Unless I don't know how these things work. Okay, rare. Oh, okay, I don't know how these things work because I just pulled a hero. All right, I got Mega Rangers. Yep, I heart you, team. Yeah, I did not pull. I pull. I was lucky to even pull a hero. I think. So that's the new uh, shindig going on with this and we'll be tackling this more later we're going to show you more about this next so stay tuned all right guys welcome back so let's show you this new freaking pvp versus ai battle system in super sentai legend wars they always like to introduce something new so we're going to show you how it works so you use these battle discs battle circles well, these battle things with these characters on them, right? So you pretty much have this, but first thing you should do is check the event page just to see what's gonna give you some extras. So yada yada, fight a big boss, get big prizes. Super ultimate awaken your characters to level 15 where they can be good, which is actually pretty interesting to say the least because popping your characters to 15 is actually pretty crazy so uh, things to focus on uh, what the event might require you know get some extra points 10 5 5 5 so on so forth wait there's one more thing I had to check here give me a sec let me see is it the blue well yeah getting that unit using that unit so pretty much this. So we have to set a team, right? So this thing that's being pushed in, you're going to click on that. And you're going to pretty much make your team based off what you saw. We'll get more into that later. So now we need... Oh, this one can be the Mastodon and Tux. Interesting... Interesting combination, honestly. And then we could put some side. And then we put the other characters on the side. Who was the other one again? It's like one, two. Who is that missing? Dang, is this somebody? We have Mass on Tess. Heart to Heart. Alright, we're missing somebody. Give me a sec. We're missing somebody from this. I. I had like a freaking brain fart on who we're supposed to be adding. Give me a sec. Oh, Zoo Tiger and um Boy. I don't think I have that actually. No, I do not. Oh no, I do. What the hell? What are they doing over there? Alrighty. So now it's like all right, give me a sec. You gotta turn the page sometimes. Okay, everything is now present. Next, you're gonna submit that by hitting the blue button. Your team's now submitted. Next, you're gonna click on your characters and you're gonna give them a little bit of a boost. We're gonna teach how to level up these cards. So there's a little plus sign there. You're gonna wanna click that. Choose a card will give that character an extra boost to power. You can see an extra 148, 178. Now my question, oh, you can choose your level 10s if you wanted to, but I'm pretty sure you're going to want to pick the pretty much big characters. 
whatever you can find, like a good strong victory card. And that's for speed. So these are cards that would give you speed. These are cards that would give you defense. Not bad. These are cards that would give you attack. I'm actually looking for uh, my Hyper Sheen Kendra card. But I don't think it's an option. What the heck? That's like my strongest. Alright, so we want to give them extra attack, right? Okay, so let's find something. No, that's not the card I want for them. Perfect. Give it a nice victory touch. It just gives them extra 5%. Nothing biggie. Your cards just give your characters like a little bit of a nice little boost if necessary. Eh, not that. And if you want to give yourself defense or speed, I'd probably give this team defense because it is, you know, Zack. Let me give him power custom as a card. Let them have that boost. And it's good just to give them health cards. Oh, so there's certain cards that have... Yeah, because I just realized like the whole thing just changed up. So certain cards like hearts and speed and all that uh, we'll probably have some different cards. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that because those types will matter in the long run because you got to find those. It's kind of tricky, actually. That's probably extra special meter, probably. This one, either meter or something. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. So try to just, it doesn't even matter what card you give. I mean, it's just, at this point, it's just for anything. Just give it to them, see what happens. Like, it's not a big deal right now with these cards. It's just, it's not like a big boost. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is an attacker one. So now there's more attackers than anything. So, I'm trying to think. Um, there it is. I was looking for that. Okay. So maybe if you had the attacker symbol, that sword, it would let you... Yeah, because I think these guys were a shield, so if you could, so they pair with units with like shields that feel more shieldy. This one's also a shield unit. This one is a health unit, and that one's an attacker unit. All right, next we're gonna level up the cards from one to five. So next we're gonna hit the thing under the star lock. No, yeah, oh my God, never mind then. You're gonna click here then. Oh my god. Give me a sec. Still trying to work out the kinks. Uh, you can oh, well, decrease the um, cost of that to five. Alright, so let's click on the middle one nearest to it and um, kind of play with that a little bit. We're really just like playing with this until we figure out what we do. So, what does this do? Oh, you can use... Oh, there you go. So, if you wanted to... I was actually trying to figure this out. So, if you press that button... Let me go back real quick. You can actually um, level your cards up to 10. So, an example is I pulled multiples of this card. So, I'm going to hit that button again, the second button. And if you wanted to give them more comms, you can. But I feel like this would be more appropriate. So, that's how you uh, dupe it. Just to... Uh, Give it an extra level and some power. And you can do that with anything. So anything can level it up, any rare. So if you don't like a team, you can say, screw it. I don't want it. So that's good to know. I just So I just figured that out just now. Just trying to attempt this video. All right, you're going to click this one that was next to it, this level up thing. That's usually, that's usually the kanji symbol for leveling up your cards, in my opinion. All right, and I was right. Okay, so pretty much in the event, you're gathering these types of crystals, and these crystals level up your card. So this one requires orange, so you're going to give it orange, level it up, da 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 It's going to cost you some V, which is fine. So we level it up, shield unit, boom, do 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 Make it stronger. Yeah, we did it. All right, so we went over how to level up your card, how to dupe them up some levels. Awesome. Next is the fun part. This is to attack. This is a special that one of the main cards does and gets switched up, if anything. And then this one's like a special attack made by one other character. Hits one person. It's a single hitter. 
But more on that in later development. So now, without further ado, we're going to hit that V in the middle. Oh, snap. Don't hit that V in the middle just yet, because now I'm missing... What happened to this card? Oh, you can use, like, three people or something? Like, what is this? I'm so confused. But, okay. Now I'm, that was legit confusing to me. I don't know why it's not showing. It's, I guess, it's, oh, you're fighting someone's, this is someone's team. Never mind. Okay, this makes more sense. So when you do that, you're pretty much fighting someone's team. I don't know if this is the boss battle. I'm trying to see. But that was the sign of you about to fight someone's team. It is an AI, so that's their team build. So we're going to dive on into this battle. Kind of wondering what music's kind of playing. So let's turn the music on a little bit. I mean, this is interesting. I'm just trying to put it all together. Oh, that's some hit music right there. All right, so what happens? This blue meter fills up and you do a certain action. So what is this? Oh, it's a tag out. Okay. I'm legit. So this is legit just Pokemon on crack. So defenders defend people. That's the point of the shield. Unless that's just that unit's like special power. So I'll show you a special. When you click the second button, you actually do a second special. All right. So Tuss is doing his nice uh, super smash. His super skill. Super smash. So if you need to tag out a ranger, you can, but I'm unsure if, like, even if you tag out. No, oh, they take damage, and then they take damage. They kind of, like, take the hit. So now we're going to hit them with this two special. Oh, look, Deck of Pink actually has a freaking super skill. What the friends and family? That's not in the game yet. So that's like an interesting uh, fact. So now we got a speed boost. Now we're moving. So the main thing is pay attention to this meter at the bottom. The one that I'm making it blink. That I'm blinking with my finger. That's important because A, that's how you do like another attack. That's when another ranger does their super skill and it's stronger. Okay, I'm trying to see. So he can, no, he can probably tag it out if a person lives, I think, in my opinion. I think that's how it works. All right. They're dead, and let's get some points, shall we? Patro Pink, and you get some more leveling up material. Some, uh, you get like good amount of prize support. Honestly, there's some good prize support to win from that. Oh snap! You get to choose between heroes. Oh, that was nice of them. Ah. Oh, I don't know. Everything's a good pick. Ew. I'm glad they give you another hero card, but oh my god. They're everything. Oh, Geki Rangers, though. Fudge. Ah, oh, don't make me choose. You should have seen me struggle in this video. No, wait. No. Woo, that was a close one. Oh my god, that was so close, guys. All right. Um, let's go, Geki Rangers. I'm so down for. Geki Rangers, man. I'm sorry. The Geki are... They didn't even have Maji Rangers, so it was like... Alright, now he's like saying, do your best. I gotta... You finish your tutorial. Congratulations. Level up. Defeat the boss. Get prizes. Do what you gotta do. So let's see if this point system does actually work. Okay. Boom. Tackle this. Uh, let's see if this does give you more. Alright, so I legit went through a tutorial phase. That makes sense. So just like any other like PvP versus AI game, you get this. So it's interesting. So I'm thinking about the Geki Rangers. I wanted to play them. D minus, D minus. Let's get our game on. Let's rock it. So they, he's playing heal units, so he'll likely heal a lot. So let's get this going. I was actually surprised just to see um, Deck of Pink actually have a new super skill in this game, and it's not even a uh, card yet. No, thank you. Nice shield. Take some of the damage, which is good. 
So that's the point of the healers. They heal themselves. Defenders defend each other. Try to split the damage amongst them so no one dies too fast, which is good. That also depends, especially if, I guess, if you make like an aggro build of health and all that other stuff. So you got to try to damage them as much as possible. Boom. So each of you and your opponent have a meter building up. Each one will have a certain skill. Nice shield. Good units. So yeah, I was thinking like more like if you go aggro, you can probably do a lot in this game. Like a good amount of a lot. Like kind of break a lot. Stuff like that. So we're going to do this attack. We're going to hit these people with that awesome deck of pink super skill. Boom, boom, boom. Don't know where that came from. Like they just came up with that. Speed's building up. Let's attack. Get some crits in. Oh, so you have a speed boost for one attack. So that's important to read up on those um, kanji symbols because you got to see how long these things are going to last for a turn. See, the defending is working really nicely. I don't know how, but it's doing great. Ow. Defend. Defend. Oh, when you use a super skill in this game, the music's going to play. So now, now we're at five. So now we get to use a nice super skill. Finally, I get to see freaking Mammoth Ranger's super skill. Oh yeah. Nice. I will legit take that. That was beautiful. So that costs you five meter. So there's probably going to be a super attack in the game that might cost 10 one day. Or you're just building up five, five, five just to do more. Oh my god. Okay. Low key. That was pretty cool. Okay. That was, uh, that was dope. But I'm going to see if these points things actually work. Like if I like, since it's like 50 and stuff, it's like, I just want to see if that's going to work out in the end. I already seen your super skill, but that was, I just want to say that was pretty dope just to see freaking Mammoth Ranger do that super skill finally. I was dying to see it. I never got to, and I'm just so happy. Smack them. And obviously there's cooldown periods for certain attacks, so I mean, what more can you do? Boom, 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 boom. Like a pink flying in hot. The only way to really do good in this is actually, you know, you got to max your units, obviously. But, yeah, this is pretty much like the whole new thing they added. It's like a verse battle between Sentai, all that. I'm going to wait till I do, like, um... Yeah, I just put the music on for a little bit because I still got to talk. So, yeah, this is, this is the new mode they added. Very interesting. I mean, believe it or not, it's actually... A crazy concept. Stomp on them. Good. So I was like wondering like. I actually haven't pulled off a three. I see three here right. So I'm like trying to see. Oh, I should have saw that. Because that could be a uh, new SPD. New blue move. But uh, what I'm going to go for is. Oh they have. They broke my attack. Okay. So they, they're breakers. They broke. They broke me. Take the hits. So yeah, I'm going to try to build up that five. And I could tag out and I wouldn't even lose the unit. But you get like two tag outs a game. Alright. I can respect that. Now I'm just wondering. Because this is I never tried a three person card. So I'm wondering like how's it going to play out. So yeah, every time you use someone's super skill, the music will play. So yeah, this this isn't a bad idea, honestly. I mean, there's like, so far, there's like you know, just a couple of units, but you can max a good couple of them out. Boom, boom, dead. All right, we won. Woo! What do we get? Let's see if that point system actually worked and we got like extra for playing the certain characters.
Okay, it did work. So this adds an extra 25 points. That's good. That was 75 points. So, yeah, we already got to the boss, apparently. Beat the boss, get certain things, yada yada. So this is boss time. This is the boss. We're fighting these units. So yeah, so you got so you did get like extra for using like those certain those certain like um battle disc units, which is it's good. That's what we we're trying to figure out. So let's get this last one done. Beat this boss call it from there and i guess you guys get the better gist of understanding what you got to do in these verse battles wish it was put on auto you can auto play it i'm still trying to figure out like you know it's three it shows like three people but when does um i guess i wonder if ah you know pat Turing number three is uh doing stuff yeah speed i was actually expecting um something different i don't know their skill i thought they would be faster on the blue but that unit i my unit was actually running faster but i guess oh that's what they do they're gonna keep building speed so they start off as normal and they'll keep building up speed okay attackers do extra damage okay starting to understand more of this uh system fire 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 how are you not dead? So we're going to kill you guys. You guys are dead. Good. We don't have time for you. Next. I, I appreciate this the tag out system in this. It was actually pretty dope. The fact that they uh, reused like super skills for this was cool too. Like, oh, cool. It's like you never know what super skill is going to actually be there. Zua Taiga. Boom, boom. Since they targeted them, they did some damage to the HP pool. Makes sense. So, uh, you know, this isn't like really that bad. Uh, I wish the point system didn't rely on you actually having to choose certain units. Tagging out. Oof. We are the sharks. That was nice. Ow. Next guy's still alive. Extra damage to my guy. Up oh, now I'm suffering burden damage. Alrighty. Let me kill your guys is over here. Alrighty. So I'm just wondering, like, if I keep hitting that third, will it will change to even Patron Sango or no? So this is the 1.5. Obviously, I'm expecting that. Ah uh, no! Owie. Block. Again, you're saving damage. I mean, shield units and heal units is probably the most, uh... Oh, good. Congrats. You can actually get some misses. So I'm going to hit him with that, and then I'm going to try something with, um... See if, you know... Yeah, no, it's not happening. I think they only give, like, one battle chip, two super skills. Which kind of sucks, honestly. Ugh, I can, can I can we just appreciate the tag out system like honestly? Like I would really appreciate. I just want to appreciate it. It's like it's so cool. It's just like passing the torch. Bring it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we got him. So that's the PvP, guys. Uh, nothing really much more to explain besides you got all the gist. You level up. You can get victory coins. Pull on the victory gotcha. Level up your grade. Get stronger every time. So that was 75. So that was 50. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Have fun in the new you know, PvP event. Peace out.